What crafters, how you doing? It's me. Welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, episode number 47. This time, we're back over at the resource desert. I've been digging sand. Check this out. That's going pretty crazy right now. Yeah, okay. It's not very impressive at all. But I've been digging out sand so I can get down to sandstone today, the actual treasure here. Now, today's episode is going to be all about beacons. We're going to talk about everything that you need to know about beacons, how they work, you know, all of that type of stuff. Then, today is the day. Oh, yes. Today is going to be the day that we finally finish up the iron farm for real. Wait, that's not true. We're actually not going to finish the iron farm entirely today, but we're going to get close. We're going to make some good progress and we'll finish it up in the next episode. But for what I want to do, I need sandstone and probably a pretty decent amount of sandstone. So, I'm gonna be here, digging out the desert. Try not to miss me, and, and then we'll meet back up over in the jungle. Give me just, just a quick second. Oof, gotta love it. Gotta love it. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? No, it wasn't. Stop, Stop crying. crying. So today, it's beacon time, but here is the sandbox. I definitely have to color this thing yellow, though, because purple, or light purple, or whatever, is definitely not the sand vibe. If you want to make a beacon, you're gonna need one of these things, the nether star. Now, a couple episodes back, if you can remember, we took out a wither. In fact, let me say that again, because that's not really true. We absolutely cleaned up a wither. It was such an easy fight. Definitely the, the best time I've had with the wither ever literally ever after you take out the wither you'll get an expensive thing called the nether star go back to a crafting table with the nether star some clear glass and some obsidian put it in the crafting grid like that or just scroll over to the beacon wherever it would be in here and then boom there you go you have a beacon one of the best things in all of minecraft now this right here is a beacon look at how good it looks the texture it's so clean it's got this little blue thing in the middle kind of looks like a sea lantern then we have an obsidian base and then glass around the outside now the beacon actually emits light. The beacon has a light level of 15, which is actually identical to the lantern's light level, which is kind of surprising. You would think this thing would give off more light. If we were to go back to the beacon and interact with it, we would see, boom, this right here. There's a lot to take in though. Uh, so just remember this, we're gonna come back to it in a second. Now one thing that a lot of people don't realize about the beacon, uh, if you wanna pick it up, you actually don't need a pickaxe. Nope, not at all. All you need is your hand. You can just mine it out with your hand and then there you go, you have the beacon back. If you place it down to mine it with a pickaxe, it's gonna mine at the exact same speed. Even if your pickaxe has efficiency five and netherite, it's like maxed out all the way. Yep, mm-hmm, kinda interesting. So let's actually go ahead and move outside of the starter house so we could get some use out of this beacon, right? Mm, we're gonna have to find a clear spot to put it down. Maybe we put it down, I don't know, right there for now. But the beacon still does nothing. Why is that? Well, that's because we don't have the mineral blocks below the beacon to actually activate the beacon. You see, if you want to use a beacon, which I highly, highly recommend, you're going to need more than just a beacon. You're also going to need at least nine minerals. If you want your beacon to work, which I highly recommend, you're going to need some iron, some gold, some emerald, some diamonds, or some netherite nowadays. So, uh, iron. Mm-hmm. Iron. Yep. Doing pretty good. So, I think iron is going to be the one that we're going to take with us today. Iron will be literally perfect for the beacon now uh, we have so much iron i think what i'm gonna do is grab like half of this chest full uh, for now and then turn it all into blocks these minerals need to be in block form then i'm gonna actually go back over here because i realized i need a little bit more for what i want to do and make even more blocks boom there we go that is a lot of iron definitely can't deny that. No, actually, these mineral blocks don't need to be all the same type, meaning you could do a little bit of iron, a little bit of gold, maybe a netherite, an, an emerald, a diamond, it doesn't matter. Create a three by three square of those mineral blocks somewhere outside. You're outside if nothing's above you, like not even a tree. So uh, make that three by three, place the beacon in the middle, and then wait for it. that beacon oh boy is gonna activate that beam is going to go all the way up on java edition to y 256 and if it's the first time you've activated a beacon advancement right here so this beacon piece the, the thing that we crafted in the crafting table just a minute ago is actually the top of a pyramid the pyramid should be built out of minerals now check this out so the beam is going which means the beacon is activated right well actually wrong we haven't done anything with it so go back into the beacon and now we have two options right here because we have a one tier pyramid we could choose from speed one or haste one, which is pretty cool. Let's say I wanted maybe maybe speed one. I want to speed up a little bit. I'm going to have to put a tribute material in here. So one of these things definitely don't do that. Probably don't do that. Just do iron or gold. Gold is absolute garbage anyways. Then go ahead and confirm your selection. Boom. Now give it a second 
And in just a second, top corner right over there, you see that? Mm -hmm. We have speed one. So if we move around, we're actually going to move around a little bit quicker, which is pretty cool. Now, what's the difference between the different beacon tiers? Well, that's actually pretty significant. The taller your beacon pyramid is, the more effects that you get to choose from, and the longer the range is. So right here, we have a level one beacon. Let's go ahead and move anything more than 20 blocks away from the beacon. And then we'll, we'll just stand around. We'll stand over here. Definitely more than 20 blocks. Now, uh, check this out. We'll go ahead and actually close that book. The speed is actually running out, and now it's gone. A level 1 beacon has an effect range of 20 blocks. Now that effect range is going to be 20 blocks out from the beacon in every direction except up. When it comes to the beacon's effect height on Java Edition, it's going to be the beacon's Y level plus 256. On Bedrock Edition, that effect range is going to extend infinitely upwards. So level 1 beacon effect range, 20 blocks that way, 20, 20, 20, 256 up that way because we're on Java Edition, and then downwards, actually 20 blocks as well. The downwards effect range is always going to be the same as the horizontal effect range. All of that means that it might be pretty smart, unless you're working up high that is, to place your beacon down low in your world, near the bottom of the world, and have that effect range extend all the way up to the surface. So, uh, that's a level 1 beacon right here. But let's say I wanted these other effects, because some of these other ones are a little bit better. You see right here at level 2, we'd still be able to choose from speed or haste, but also resistance and jump boost. That sounds cool. So, let's actually go for it, which means we're going to need to move our beacon so we'll go ahead and mine the beacon out there we go now we're going to need to expand our pyramid out one block so we're going to go just like this and then fill everything in and then we'll basically raise that layer up one so a three by three in the center now of course you could have left the beacon and just dug down would work too so there we go uh two layers now let's go ahead and check that out now we have these options too this time let's go with jump boost there's our tribute confirm it now we give it a second <laughs> and now check this boom we, we jump like pretty high which is pretty sweet i i don't know what i would use that for in this area maybe i'm like building or, or something I, I don't know maybe i just want to jump but yeah i jump way higher now which is pretty cool now a level two beacon has an effect range of 30 blocks Building a level 3 beacon will grant you access to the strength effect as well as all of these ones. And by the way, all of these effects are going to be at level 1 right now. A level 3 beacon has an effect range of 40 blocks. Finally, if you're big overachiever energy, you have the maxed out beacon. A level 4 beacon with an effect range of 50 blocks. A level 4 beacon also opens up access to the regeneration effect or uh, adding another tier to your current effect. Which gets us to the point of this beacon. Insta mining. That means mining out a block instantly. So that that was pretty quick, but it, it could be quicker. Let's go ahead and move this over to haste. Haste is going to speed up our mining speed. So we give it a second. There we go. We have haste. And now let's actually go ahead and place the block down and then uh, mine it. Hard to notice here, but this is going to be a little bit quicker. Maybe a better block to show this off with would be stone, because that's what we'll be digging through. So somewhere in here, there was... Right, right here. This is this will be perfect. We'll jump down here for now. Uh, if we go ahead and dig this... Oi, skeleton. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Bedtime. If we dig this out, it's pretty quick. It's almost instant, right? It would be instant if we were able to move our pickaxe around and mine all of these out. It's obviously not instant quite yet. If we want to instant mine stone, which we definitely do, then we're going to need a haste to beacon. If we can instant mine stone, then I can create a custom cave underneath the iron farm, which will be sweet and the big setup for what I want to do in the next episode. So long story short, we need a haste to beacon, which means we need a level four beacon. Here's what I'm thinking. In this world, we'll actually find a permanent spot for our beacon, build it and leave it alone. We're going to take on another wither very, very soon. So if we need to move a beacon, well, uh, then we have another one or the more beacons that I need, the more withers I take out. No big deal. Either way, though, we need a level 4 beacon. And now, really quick, before we build that, let's talk block amounts. Level 1, 9 blocks. Level 2, 34. Level 3, 84. Finally, level 4, 164 blocks. That is two stacks and just about half of another one. Thankfully, I have all of those blocks and I'll be able to do that. So, let's go ahead and move this beacon out. I'd like to put this beacon in as central of a spot as possible. We need to keep in mind the effect range, which is going to be 50 blocks. So, uh, where is central in this world? Well, uh, coincidentally, I'm basically standing central right now. I think we could create a room sunken down in, in the water in here. We'll put like sandstone on the wall. That'll be cool. And then build the beacon in there. But wait, the beacon's going to be inside, right? Well, uh, yes, right? 
but also wrong. If you put glass above a beacon, it will still work. And actually, you can change the beacon's beam color with glass, which is pretty cool too. So Spruce Street, Great Spruce Street, you are going to be greatly in the way, or you are greatly in the way. We're gonna take the Spruce Tree out, then we're gonna go ahead and figure out where we could put this room. So the room needs to be at least nine by nine. I'd like to have it be like a little bit bigger. So uh, maybe like somewhere in here, this is gonna be a little tricky, but what I think we wanna do is maybe start with a nine by nine. So let's say, uh, I don't know, let's say the, the corner of the thing is right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine right there. And so then the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then maybe we go eight and nine right there. So this is gonna be the room. I'm gonna need to dig this out and then a little past it. And in terms of a little past it, this is what I'm thinking. We could maybe go, um, hmm, I'd like to make it a circle. So we could go like that. And uh, after the corner, we could go like just flat all the way over and then another corner. I mean, it'll be a weird circle, kind of a lame one. In fact, maybe we even just extend that out a little bit, probably make that a little bit better, uh, which means we won't even need this corner, by the way. So yeah, here's the shape. We have two in the corner. We have however many in the center, then two in the corner again, and it'll be a circle. What I need to do now is basically dig it all out. And also, I think, to make my life a little bit easier, I'm gonna actually take out the water. And then we'll come back in and, and maybe put it back in after. Now, when it comes to removing water quickly from an area, how do we do it without sponges? Well, uh, that's actually very, very simple. Check this out. We'll put a bunch of leaves in here, fill it up all the way with leaves, actually. All right, so something just like that. Okay, that looks good. And all of the water is gone in there. Now, how do we get the leaves back? Easy. Shears right here. Boom. The water is gone. The blocks take no time to mine at all. And then uh, after we're done with all of this, we'll be able to get the water back in here pretty easily. I'm thinking the glass floor, like the top of this room, will sit literally right here. It'll sit like right under the water. Maybe, maybe one block. Maybe two, but I'm kind of thinking one. I want it to be pretty visible. But now it's time for me to dig straight down. Maybe, uh, I don't know, like this many blocks. That should probably be fine. It'll give the beacon a little bit of room. And then after I dig everything out, I need to come back in and make it all look pretty. Need to make it look good. How am I going to do that? Smooth sandstone. I've decided on the walls here. Smooth sandstone is going to look super, super clean. And then on the floor of this thing, I'm actually thinking, it might surprise you a little bit, but coarse dirt. Putting coarse dirt on the floor of this thing and, and then like the water will be over the beacon and everything. Yeah, I feel like that'll look really, really good. And then finally, on top of the beacon, glass. Glass all the way around this thing. So there we go. That's the big setup. That's exactly what I need to achieve. Now, easy. All I need to do is achieve it. What I'm going to do is cook up all of this sandstone right here. I have a little bit left just in case. Uh, hopefully, I don't have to go back, but I'm going to dig it. And then I'm going to put the blocks in. Uh, I'm not going to build the beacon yet, but uh, yeah, that's the, I'm going to dig it and put blocks. <laughs> I'll be back soon. So I did some mining off camera. Look what I got. Mm-hmm. Cobblestone. Dirt. Disgusting. Yep. Very, very exciting. But uh, probably a little bit more exciting. Check this out. The hole. Uh, this pit is now finished. Oh, yeah. By the way, I found the cave system again. But it is finished, obviously, other than the top. So... It's beacon time. Now, I got Big Brain in here and decided to preserve the beautiful, beautiful, precious coarse dirt. So I put cobblestone at the base of the pyramid. It's time for a 9x9 nine nine base of this beacon. I decided to do a stripe of iron blocks around the wall because, I mean, I have a lot of iron blocks. And, I mean, why not, right? It's kind of cool looking. I, I, I felt like it kind of matched this beacon. And then maybe we can set this goal for ourselves to be able to make a full beacon of every single type. Maybe. May maybe. Don't mark my words on it. But maybe a beacon 
chicken of every type, like somewhere in this world, that would be really, really sweet. But here we go, the full beacon, boom, just like that. Now all we need is the beacon, which I left actually sitting right up here in the air. So uh, after this is activated, I think we, we get another advancement and then it'll be time for me to do a whole lot more digging. So, Beacon, there we go, yep, Beaconator, that's that fancy, fancy advancement. I think we've probably completed that tier now, right? Where would it be? Is it in the end stuff? Well, 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 call me small brain. Oh, there it is, there it is. It's in there. It's in the nether for some reason. Perfect. Oh, well, I guess it makes sense. Wither. Okay, there we go. We finished that one. But uh, now we can go ahead and put our tribute thing in. Haste right there. And then this time, haste two, which is definitely what we want. Regeneration would be cool, but haste two is much, much better. So now if we go ahead and move out of here and go over to say like the iron farm, check this out. If I were to dig, uh, like, like past these walls right here, a, a little bit more, then a stone. You see that? This stuff literally disappears. And that is exactly what I was going for. So now I have a lot of digging to do. Here's the plan. Today, basically clear out a, a, like a sizable cave area. I wanted to go down at least probably 10 or so blocks. I'm not too sure. I guess I'm going to have to kind of eyeball it. And then eventually we'll have like a waterfall like pouring into here. We'll have the iron golems drop right down into the area. It'll be pretty sweet looking. But for today, basically just clear out the area around this iron farm. Now, I am going to have to leave the, the blackstone and the iron farm itself in here because the lava and the iron golems are, of course, going to keep spawning. But what I don't need are all of these random blocks that are sitting around the iron farm. So basically, what we're probably going to end up with here today is floating blackstone surrounded by, uh, well, well, air. It's floating blackstone. But uh, real quick, before I go and do that, let's talk about this also. So over here, here is what I'm thinking. Uh, we're going to put glass in here. It's going to be just normal clear glass. And then in the center, right above the beacon, we'll put glass pane. So then I can actually access the beacon. Now, yes, to access the beacon, I'm going to have to go into the water a little bit. But but I, I mean, it, it'll be fine. Around the side, we're actually going to put nothing. We'll just leave it flat like that. So it looks like the land basically reaches all the way over to the glass. And then the glass just starts. And yeah, but light level down here, five right there. So I'm going to need four lanterns down there, too before I close that off. So glass pane, that's gonna go right there. And then once I get the blocks all around it, this is what we're gonna have. We're gonna have a cross of glass right there and then I can reach down and access the beacon. That's perfect. Now the lanterns, if I were to put a lantern right there, is this corner gonna be good? That's gonna be nine. Okay, we'll put one right there. Yep, nine, that should be good. I think all we need are four lanterns down here placed in the center of each side. That should be perfect. And this staircase, oh, by the way, that can go away. We don't need that anymore. Oh, and before I forget, check this out. So we swap this clear glass pane right there out for maybe a black one. And then boom, we have this black beam, which is really, really cool. And then we can actually go ahead, if we wanted to, and put even more glass panes inside of this beam, like other colored ones, and change the color even more, which could be cool. Now, I think for now... Uh, uh, today, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to that and then let all of the water cover back in here. This should be perfect. Water won't affect the beacon at all, which is good. So check it out. This is what we're going to end up with right here. We have a beacon under the water. There's a couple blocks in there, by the way. That's how I got out of there. Those will despawn. But this is what we have. We have a beacon under the water that we can see from probably the bridge. Mm hmm. Yep. You can see the beacon right there. Of course, if I was sailing across it and then just other areas around this water, a beacon fully submerged. Yep. In my opinion, I, I feel like that's probably a pretty sweet thing. Okay, but time for me to focus and start digging. I am going to need to remove a lot of land, and I'll put those temporary blocks in there for now. Oh boy, I love insta mining. Insta mining, yeah, me and insta mining, we're basically best friends. It is so nice. Oh, and you know what I just realized too? I'm actually using the Soak Touch pickaxe. I brought it over for the glass thing. Oh, uh, but hey, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and keep using it. I mean, it's nice to get stone.
Today's comment of the day isn't a comment, it's a name. I keep forgetting to do this. I keep forgetting. And I've actually had this name picked out for a couple episodes time, but Axel Waddle, how could I not? Of course, Axel Waddle. Big shout out to Ian W for that name. Who now our build? Well, first off, I guess the beacon. The beacon is still doing amazingly. Uh, this bamboo is way too tall. That's not very good looking. Nope, not at all. We'll just chop that down. But the build over here. All right, I guess the dig side. That's definitely a better word for it. So here is what we have. We have a gigantic cavern cleared out in here. I don't know how much farther I want to push it down, but I do know that I want to have water in here. So I don't think I should probably push it down anymore. I'm definitely not thinking a flat floor, but this should probably be a pretty decent start for what I want to do. By the end of the next episode, this giant blackstone platform up there will be entirely gone. Reduce the atoms. It'll look a whole lot better in here, and we'll have a proper iron farm area it's gonna be really really sweet but for today's video for beacons that is actually gonna do it if you enjoyed this one smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet remember notification bell and all of my links are down in the description below big shout out to my patrons sci fireman and films today thank you so much until next time stay fresh i'll see you in the next episode goodbye everyone